Did you know that an estimated 80% of American adults experience symptoms of back pain at some point in their lives? And about 31 million Americans struggle with the condition at any given time. The bad news is that unless you have a major injury or a disc problem, your doctor may not be able to do much for you other than prescribe some pain medication and advise you to rest. The good news is that there are certain remedies that can have your back in the swing of things in just a few days. Even better, you won't have to endure a similar discomfort in the future. In today's video, we'll tell you what these remedies are, from exercising and targeting your back to getting a different mattress to tweaking your diet, working on your posture to physical therapy and many more. Watch until the end to find out all of them. Number 1. Swim Many experts agree that swimming is the best aerobic exercise for your back. Doing laps in the pool can help tone and strengthen the muscles of your back and abdomen, which help support your spine, while buoyancy temporarily relieves them of their job of holding up your weight. Number 2. Improve Your Posture It might seem obvious, but poor posture is one of the most common causes of back pain. That said, most of us don't know what good posture is and how to correct bad posture. Over time, bad posture generates an increasing amount of pressure on your back, which can lead to persistent aches and pains. The trick is to try to not stay in the same position for too long, whether you're sitting in a chair at home or at a desk in the office. It's important to keep repositioning yourself, taking frequent breaks and moving around to prevent your back from becoming stiff. Try and keep moving as best you can so the muscles don't tense and you adopt unnatural positions for a long time due to the pain. Number 3. Stay Hydrated The discs in between your vertebrae rely on water to function properly. These discs play an important role in absorbing shock and stress from the body. If you're dehydrated, it causes the discs to shrink applying more pressure and stress on the vertebrae. Make sure you drink 8 glasses of water a day. This can be challenging, but the easiest way to manage this is to keep a daily tally and have your own water bottle which you carry with you. Number 4. The Physical Therapy and Chiropractic Treatment No matter what else you do, if your backache persists, it may be time to consult a professional. They may be able to provide relief from chronically inflamed muscles that home remedies can't. A misaligned spine can cause muscle tension and pain. Both physical therapy and chiropractic treatment improve spinal alignment. Physical therapist strategies stretch and strengthen the muscles that help hold the spine in place. Chiropractors manipulate the spine to relieve areas of tension on the muscles. Consult your primary care doctor for a referral. You should experience relief within six weeks and if you don't, you may need an MRI, which can determine whether the pain stems from something more serious, such as a herniated disc. Number 5. Get a new mattress after eight or nine years, a mattress can start to provide less support, which may lead to back pain. If you suffer from constant back aches, you may be able to find relief if you get a new mattress. Contrary to popular belief, a firmer mattress isn't necessarily better. Research shows that medium tension is best. Beware of those that are advertised as orthopedic or doctor approved. There are no regulations for these claims. Chances are you'll just be paying a heftier price than you would for a regular mattress. Number 6. Get a good night's sleep Sleep disturbances are common among people with chronic back pain, and not getting enough quality sleep may actually worsen inflammation and pain. For a better night's sleep, invest in a good mattress as we mentioned earlier, and experiment with different sleeping positions. Adding an extra pillow under your body may help maintain that natural curve in your spine. If you're a back sleeper, try putting the pillow under your knees. For stomach sleepers, try putting it under your pelvis. If you sleep on your side, sleeping with a pillow between your knees may help. Number 7. Try Light Exercises When you're in pain, exercise might be the last thing on your mind, but it's exactly what you should make an effort to fit in. According to a study, Medical literature on exercise and back pain indicates that exercises are unlikely to increase spine pain or conditions. In fact, it's effective at reducing pain post-exercise by roughly 10 to 50 percent, and it's likely to increase strength and flexibility, so you'll reduce the likelihood of continued pain in the future. 
The trick is to choose exercises that don't make your pain worse. Low impact options such as walking, cycling, swimming, and yoga are a good place to start. It's also important to incorporate core and back strengthening exercises into your routine. For example, depending on your baseline level of strength and pain, you could incorporate planks, alternating leg lifts, supermans, and wall squats. Just make sure that the exercises you perform don't increase your pain level and if they do, it's time to choose different exercises or just take a break. Number 8. Heat and Cold Therapy There's a reason doctors suggest using ice and heat to prevent and eliminate back pain. However, it is important to know when to use each method. Ice therapy is effective for numbing pain and reducing blood flow to the injured area. This helps prevent inflammation and swelling and is most effective when used within 24 to 48 hours of injury or irritation. In other words, if you feel pain starting to come on, that's when you should start applying ice. Heat therapy does the opposite. It stimulates blood flow to an area, increasing the delivery of oxygen, nutrients, and buffering away waste products. Ultimately, heat therapy can help an injured body part heal, but if you apply heat to the onset symptoms, it can actually contribute to the inflammation and swelling. Heat therapy is best applied 48 hours after an injury or irritation occurs. In other words, if you're dealing with a constant level of pain that's not increasing or decreasing and has been present for more than 48 hours, simply use heat or cold therapy based on your personal preference. Number 9. Engage your brain Pain specialists have long understood that pain is more complicated than just a sensation. The way your brain interprets and processes pain signals plays an important role in how you perceive your pain. You can develop skills for your brain to reduce or even ignore some pain signals. Practicing mindfulness and meditation, which typically involves slow, controlled breathing and focusing of the mind, may help reduce the pain sensation. It can also help with relaxation. To get started with mindfulness and relaxation techniques, there are many free videos available online. Cognitive behavioral therapy is another type of talking therapy that can help you manage your problems by changing the way you think and behave. It can help you think about your pain differently and learn new strategies for managing it. Number 10. Quit Smoking Lighting up doesn't just damage your lungs, it can also hurt your back. A study recently published found that current and former smokers are more likely to have back pain when compared to those people who have never smoked. This can be due to the fact that nicotine causes small blood vessels to constrict and decreases the delivery of blood to the soft tissue. Quitting smoking could help alleviate your back pain slowly. Number 11. Eat an anti-inflammatory diet. The foods that you eat and how much can prevent and reduce a host of health conditions, including some types of back pain. Inflammation is your body's natural response to protect itself from harm and is a known cause of back pain. Studies suggest that an anti-inflammatory diet can be just as effective at treating back pain as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, such as aspirin and ibuprofen. Foods that fight inflammation include brightly colored fruits and vegetables such as carrots, beets, sweet potatoes, blueberries, oranges, strawberries, and tomatoes. It also includes fatty fish such as salmon, sardines, and mackerel. Green leafy vegetables include spinach, kale, collards, and broccoli. You can also up your intake of healthy monosaturated fats, such as avocado, olive oil, and canola oil. Nuts, including almonds and walnuts. Seeds, such as chia, sunflower, and pumpkin are also good sources of anti-inflammatory foods. Be sure to avoid foods that can promote inflammation, including fast food, processed foods, and foods that are high in saturated fat and refined carbohydrates. Number 12. Skip the high heels. High-heeled sandals, pumps, and stilettos might be fashionable but can push your lower back, spine, and hips out of alignment. This can lead to muscle overuse and back pain. Even shoes with platforms or block heels can be bad for your back over time. If you're not willing to part with those shoes, try to avoid wearing them for long periods of time. You could also choose lower heels, avoid pointy-toed shoes that squish the feet into an awkward position and use gel or padded inserts to reduce the impact on your hips and spine. Number 13. Practice Yoga 
regardless of the type and severity of your back pain, yoga can significantly reduce your symptoms. Some patients are able to avoid pain medication and surgery altogether. According to a study, patients with chronic back pain were less likely to take pain medication after participating in a 12-week yoga practice, which in this study was comparable to the results of patients who participated in physical therapy. There are plenty of free yoga videos for back pain available online that can be very helpful for you. Do you have back pain? How do you find relief? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.